All right, um, welcome back and straight up to our first trending story. Um, don't film for pe poor people when helping them. This is TJ Amori speaking. That baby was in the country, or he's still in Nigeria, and um, there was uh, pictures of him flinging money at um, buying $100 worth of popcorn, which of course was give, filming himself, giving it mm -hmm. to the guy who was selling the popcorn and collecting a lot of popcorn. I know how much $100 is, and um, I mean, it's not, it's, I, I guess you want to show, that's how some rappers do when they come to a foreign country, they want to show, 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 and they do all those things, flinging money in the air, but it is wrong. I mean, and then you're filming the person, what does that mean? You feel it's wrong? I don't think it's actually wrong. I don't yeah. say yeah, it's not wrong. wrong with it. It's not wrong. I don't say anything wrong with it. With honest. someone filming people for... I mean... For <laughs> See, we're in an era where the camera is on you. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Whether you are doing something good, you are doing something bad, you have an accident, in it, in the camera is always... Yeah. Does that make it right? Especially with the people. Now that is even the worst part. Where people, someone is in an accident. Yeah. People yeah. are recording. That, that's happy. very different. And I that's know that's different. different. But when you are helping but people, you should be filming helping people. No, it doesn't... I don't see <laughs> anything wrong. It, it doesn't mean you have to film them when you are helping them. But I don't see anything wrong with it. Exactly. I mean, if you're like... If it's like a charity organization now where they have to like give out... um give people some things give like accounts too yes it's like to show that okay evidence that i actually did this mm. so it's it's not necessarily a button as long as they're giving they're i feel like giving. it shouldn't be labeled like a wrong thing depends on your motive mm. i think that's basically what George so if you wanted to just to let me go you'll be filming ah i'm giving some hundred dollars giving that, that guy one is excited to be in nigeria he's yeah. okay. excited to meet these people these people are excited to meet him as, as well. well they don't know him so no, they they know him. They the father they baby. know him with david do yes okay. they automatically they know they will look mm. out for the video they will look out for that baby they would even want so to feature in the video you it's get a different if he came here and gave me money it's a different thing that's a different context you know <laughs> that would be different but okay <laughs> would you like that baby to film if, why are you filming giving me money i'll throw it back at your face for real? Why are you filming me? I bet that baby anywhere you did. Please come and give me money and film me. I don't mind. Give me money, <laughs> film me. Okay, as long as uh -huh. I'm not in this context, me. this is the, someone who is poor. Do you understand? It's for entertainment and it's annoying. That's what I am saying. It is for entertainment. It's not necessarily See, poor, supposed to be offensive. Poor is relative. Oh. Is <laughs> the people there? Did they tell you they are poor? Okay. People that came out to have fun. They just wanted to have fun. They just wanted to meet. This you guy. can't label them as poor, at actually. I don't what, in the context, it's not all the people in Lagos Island. That's a different situation. Is the person who was probably you know when you see um, a beggar uh. and you now say ah I want to give you money and collect it back. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're saying. People who film. People, I'm giving you money. That's what we are talking about. But it's not if since there's money. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. My <laughs> own point is, what's your motive behind filming it? If yeah, the baby. intention is pure, mm. no problem. You okay. understand? If it's coming from a good place, you just want to encourage others to do same. Yeah, it's also no like problem. an avenue to even motivate But if you are others. doing it to mock them, that's where we have that's issues. That's where there's a problem. Okay. Yes. So that's why I said the motive. Because usually it. it can serve like as a motivation to other people to you know. at motivation? least give give what give to the needy. Yeah. If I'm doing a reach out now, like an outreach to uh, people, I would film it just to say, okay, I I don't need to feel myself giving you doing need good. To, you know, why? I don't need to show you people that I'm doing good deeds. This is not necessary. But like, if you know, if for where you are come from, there's <laughs> one word. Who you help. <laughs> the worry people go now, for your ear. Who media. you help? Uh -huh. Who you help? Uh -huh. At least when are the film, you go know people why. Uh -huh. why there was no you social media. There were people who that were help, doing good deeds, and they did not. They, if not for social media, all these things will not be there. That's what I'm saying. Well, now we are uh -huh. living in a social age. So, so that's why people film themselves having their back. I you film everything. No, because there is social media. Will you do that? That's actually different. But I mean. It depends, like you said, it depends on the motive. Yeah. Like I'm giving, I'm filming it just to show that okay, I did this, mm. not necessarily to like boost my ego or anything. It but is, just you said this, it's to boost your ego. Let me like it's to boost your ego. Forget it, shut. Do more. Let me boost my ego. Let me boost yes, yeah. my ego. It's to make my ass look good. I'm the content. Okay, let's move on. I think the context there is that you're actually giving. 
you are uh, giving. You are giving, and somebody is collecting. Somebody, is, someone that actually needs it is. All right, so as, as, as they go, go they film. As I'm giving a beggar money, I go they film. <laughs> <laughs> take, take, so that you can see I'm a good person. All right, let's move on to our next trendy story. Jungle Justice, we couldn't rescue sound engineer Lagos Lamb says. Now, what happened? Apparently, what happened was I think they said two people. Um, the Okada carried two guys, yeah. and the two guys they're supposed to give the guy 100 naira. They said, No, we'll give you 300 naira later. Then the Okada guy grabbed one person's shirt, and the guy that one, no, the guy knocked the Okada guy on the face, and that one fainted. And mm. he, the mob came thinking that it was a previous situation where they said a Yahoo boy had yes. beaten a certain Okada guy, mm. and they but they said this guy was not involved in the situation. That he yeah. came out to defend one person and then maybe went back into the lounge. Then but my question now, out. because the lounge is saying that they did their best. They said he was, if he was hiding in the lounge, why did he come out? Why couldn't they have hidden him there? Knowing yeah. that once you have a mob, they want to get justice. They want to fight and kill and do stuff like that. Mm. We don't know the true picture. Just yeah, putting facts together. Really, you know? Um, yeah. Um, scattered. I really don't know what to say because it's a, it's a complex situation. Uh, the only thing we would do is to plead with people to avoid jungle justice. If you if you have any issue with someone outside, try there as no much as need. possible. How will you try when the, the people that want blood they're not educated? No, not, they, it's those people I'm talking to. Yes. You understand? Because these people, uh, all the, I'm not sure they are not even watching this. They're program. not. Uh, <laughs> you understand? So we are talking to ourselves. I just, I just think the problem is right now there is no regard for human lives. That is it. And it's very wrong That's that we've actually all lost. Like most people have lost their sense of humanity. Mm. It's very sad that you think you have the right to take someone's life like. just because you are trying to get justice. I mean, it's not. It's very sad to think of. It is really and sad. And what they said is that. While they were trying to engage the mob, mm. he was alleged to have, David was alleged to have used a charm, came out of our facility, and the mob forcibly took him away from our premises, insisting he was a Yahoo boy. They said our internal security men couldn't stop them. My question now is, I feel like in that terrible situation, they could have kept that guy that they would have made sure he did not See, go out of that men, place. They are different from policemen and army men. No. Not be everybody where we are all those things. Be really security when 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 you have that kind of mob. But not they all have those done better. I mean, uh, uh, not all those bands are safe can hold that kind of mob. Mm. Uh, the best they would have done is maybe reach out through telephone to to police. They to, called. They called the police. I think uh, why. They if come, someone who works for you is police. in a terrible situation at that moment. That guy will not come out. You are lying because in the max max they will enter the place. Well, and they are afraid that they might burn their lounge or something. That's what she promised. So, so that was sacrificed the, him. That's what it was. You know. That was what it was. It's There's no regard sad. for it. We'll, we'll take a break, guys, and we'll be right back. Right. Um, welcome back to the show. Still on trending, but at the end of the day, hoping that justice will be served. I believe that yes. those guys have been arrested. We might be saying things based on our own understanding of certain events, but practically, I hope the police is working together to help make sure this man gets late, man gets justice. And at this point, Okada has to be banned. I'm they sorry. Banned. I take bikes, but he has to be banned. He's doing more evil than good. I'm ah. sorry. I have to say that. Or maybe Let's move. get a license. Well, they should just ban them. Let's, let's move on to our next point. Because they are very aggressive humans. Even when they are riding, they ride like they have two lives. Okay, let's move on to our next trendy <laughs> story. Man who supplied Mac Miller drugs jailed for 17 years. This is apparently Mac Miller, uh, the late Mac Miller, who died as a result of an overdose. Mm. And they've, they've gotten about three guys who, who supplied him, you know, drugs. Um, sentenced to 17 years. 17 years. He actually died due to an accidental overdose of um, fentanyl, cocaine, alcohol. Wow. Yeah. A lot. A lot. So apparently, they mixed it. The, the dealer sold him fake pills laced with deadly... Oh, God. I, I, I understand that some people do drugs, you know, understand. But there's a girl in the UK, too, who died because she said she requested for, I don't know what it was called, and they laced it with a deadly whatever it was. 
she died. A young, beautiful girl in the UK. Oh my God. An only child. You know? So this drug issue is becoming a lot. Mm. People need to be careful. There's so much death careful. from accidental overdose. Um, my advice to people that do drugs, any drug where not really get labor, <laughs> just avoid it. The one where not get labor, not get dosage. Mm -hmm. Uh, no get he get name, he get, name, uh, he get street name. <laughs> Just avoid that. Even some get label, mm. but please try. Uh, I mean, we should be very considerate of our health. Yeah. Even if we are trying, it's normal to want to try new things and everything. Mm. But then, be conscious. <laughs> like honestly, because most people do, they go into this thing because they want to try and see how it feels. Mm. Like they want to experience that high, that mm. feel. And so I want to get uh -huh. away, escape from just maybe, escape from the uh, reality depression. of life. <laughs> To and be I will still come back to the reality. <laughs> that's just so the what's thing. the need? That's just the thing. They they do these drugs to escape it, but then you can't really escape reality. You can't. That's you what I'm saying. Even back. if you want to, be conscious <laughs> you of your health. You go high Your lala not going to remember your <laughs> rent. Okay, at least for me, it's I just rather I don't know. I'm just saying, stay away from drugs. I yeah, know. just stay I'm away not from speaking me. for anyone no because I say, what do you know? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Some just people stay. be fighting on Twitter right now. Right. So stay away from drug. Our okay, drug. Our drug. <laughs> my own drug that I take personally for myself. <laughs> personally for yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just feel like at the end of the day, we this look at what happened to Mac Miller. He didn't have to go, mm. and yeah. they've been sentenced. One person sentenced to eleven years, another person sentenced to um, seventeen, 17 yeah. years. Except the guy was said to have supplied the pills. Why the other guy delivered them, and wow. they delivered it to Mac Miller, and then he. Overdose. overdose so um please say no to drugs as much as possible, as possible. <laughs> try <laughs> try i know you know they're easy nigeria yeah. is tough and you want to get it <laughs> but please try you, uh, you know just high and just see yourself in us <laughs> oh, <laughs> not possible. okay another um when i say story that um indian actress chetana Chetana Raj dies after fat removal surgery. Mm. Mm. It's another situation. Very when I saw sad. this story, I thought too, you know, we, we a lot of ladies want to get the it's perfect. very popular right now in yeah. Lagos. I mean, and mm. yes, it's not bad. I'll, I'll leave you guys to Shana talk about Folocom that. Or <laughs> na original. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, so my point here is that um, the, the, the women who want to have, what happened was that she wanted to do a fat transfer. I think she already has a slim shape. She's 21, mm. years, 21, She's 21. years old. Imagine. She wanted Very to do a fat sad. transfer. She didn't get permission from her family. Mm. It, was this, it was a friend that signed the consent form wow. and they said there was complications and then she died. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we need to really as assess our idea of beauty standards right now because i mean it's very it's very risky for you to actually go through all of that just to get the perfect body i mean after that one so next what what really is a perfect body that's the thing there is no perfect but you that's what we need to assess the idea of our standards like beauty standard like body standard because mm. now right now presently if you don't have a huge backside you're not a fine girl. Ah. You're not a big girl in Lagos. Mm. <laughs> I don't have bad things. I don't have to ask. Well. Don't I'm just saying we need to so, really... Uh, let me ask because I'm kind of <laughs> okay. wondering. For you ladies, yeah. mm. what's the... I know you are, you are not of that opinion. What do you think is the rationale behind uh, having a big butt? Is it to intimidate, intimidate their fellow woman or is it for us guys? <laughs> On so, one hand, it's for the guys. Let's yeah, be honest. To be honest, one. they say they do it for themselves. But I feel like they do it just to get that attention. I mean, you want to walk past people and you want them to like look back and say, oh, ooh, okay. wow. But then it's not... If you have to go through all of that like near-death experience just but to get... But you know it. there are guys that will carry you, date you, even marry you. Let us still cheat on you with a slim... <laughs> to be... <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so even if you do big bomb, you're uh, not going to work. I'm not sure <laughs> for anybody. So of what you do. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, okay. that's like a very valid point. Yeah. That is very valid. Because men will end up disappointing you. So, <laughs> so I feel like, like you said, whatever you want to do, do for yourself. You know. For yourself. And be conscious of your health. I mean, it's very... I'm very particular about healthy living. I mm. Just be... 
do what it will make you happy, but be conscious of the fact that you need to be you need to be alive to yeah. enjoy. You know, I think even in this context, she's actually slim. So what she went to undergo was a fat-free surgery to maintain her skinny appearance. So it wasn't she's even fact even that. Which wasn't even the fact that she was maybe on the big side or anything. She's an she's you an see Indian. The same thing, uh, you can be slim. <laughs> Remain slim for a particular <laughs> mice cheating on you with somebody chubby. Ah, this life no balance. No balance. Man. Okay, I mean that's it. So please, there's a really sad story there, but then at the end of the day, I know that beauty standards have changed, like she said. Mm. Try, it's not easy, but try to just maintain the state. Because personally, I don't like pain. So that is very ah. painful. The, the month, the surgery, and even the aftercare. The bills, mm. sir. <laughs> quite expensive very expensive to do that like you did some research <laughs> you wanted to but no i am the very big, the love big 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 my body <laughs> hey i'm in love with it <laughs> i don't even want to have to think of trying to do okay. that though okay let's take a break when we come back we still have short family we'll be asking get to know more about him and his comedy don't go anywhere